Welcome to our special live broadcast. If you are looking for something really fun to do with some of this Dollar Tree garden fence, I've got a really fun project. We're going to do it live together. I haven't made it yet, so this could either be a really huge success or a flop. We don't know, but we're doing this live together, and I thought it would be a really fun way to bond as a community, do some DIY. So hopefully you have a craft that you can craft together together with me on and we're going to get started. And so this is my first time really going live. And so I'm hoping all of the audio is working. All the camera shots are working. Next time I will hopefully have more dynamic stuff where we have multiple cameras going and all of that. But today we're going to do it kind of low key. So let me know in the comments if you are joining me live right now, or if you're catching this on the replay, and let's get started. What do you say? And But first, let me know in the comments if you have this in your stash, <laughs> because I've had this in my stash, and I really, really wanted to do something fun with it. Let's see who we've got here. We've got people joining from Texas and Tennessee and Australia all over. I love it. From Arkansas. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am so excited. Everybody can hear me okay, right? <laughs> I always get nervous about that because on Amazon live streams, sometimes it just, it, it <laughs> okay, people can hear me, I think. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with two of these panels from the Dollar Tree, super cute. This um, these, this project hopefully will be very easy. And I'm telling you, this is low key tonight. I've got my stretchy pants on. <laughs> I've got my comfy clothes on. I've got like a drink and we're gonna just have a lot of fun. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna do, and make sure we are going to be doing a Q&A. So make sure if you want to hit me up in the comments, I'm going to try to do some question and answer as we go along. And uh, if you stick with me through the live stream at some point, I am going to give you a very big hint about the tool line. We're not releasing it tonight. I will be sure that everybody will know when I release it. And then you can ask me anything. We're going to keep it PG. <laughs> um, but we are going to have fun. And um, I will reveal a little secret about the tool line. I'll give you a, a couple details on that. And so, yes. Okay. Yes, hear you very well. Oh, awesome. Yes, these are plastic. You pick them up at the Dollar Tree. The first thing I want to do is, I think I'm, we're gonna cut off these. And I just realized that I might not have grabbed the best scissors. We're gonna try it with the regular scissors, but I might have to sneak over and, and grab something more industrial. So we're gonna cut off these little things ever so carefully. Okay, so these are not my good scissors. Don't use your good scissors for cutting these off. And I think we can do something a little, oh, we got it off. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut off these. If you have some of these, join me. <laughs> um, or you can remake this on the replay. You know what, I'm gonna go, hang on one quick second. I'm gonna grab some better scissors, hopefully. I don't have my good industrial scissors, but, I do have something a little bit better. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm, I'm in my studio. <laughs> so, okay. So we're gonna just start by cutting off all of those little stakes because we're not gonna be using it as a garden fence. We are going to be using it to make something else. Has anybody got any guesses on what we are doing? Okay, sorry. I'm focusing, somebody asked if I'm, Focusing on my screen. I'm actually, I've got the chat going here. I'm trying to see some questions, but I'm going to try to remember to look in the camera too. I just don't want to miss any important questions. I'm <laughs> so glad that you guys can join. So cut off all of those. You're going to need two of these. And then some scissors that you don't care cutting plastic with. There's 
Keep your fabric scissors on the shelf. We don't want to ruin those. Those are a no-no, right? Okay, so we've got those off. Okay, all right. And then what we're going to do is there is a way to connect these. And we are going to, uh, can you see that? I'm going to hopefully you can see that. They slide in like so. Hopefully I can. And then once you get them down together, then you can straighten it out like that. And they're connected. And we might be able to fudge it down a little bit. <laughs> Next time, I really would love to have an overhead shot, but I was like, I don't know if you're like me, I was a little nervous about the technology of all this today. So I'm like, I'm just sticking with a one shot camera this time. And then if we do this again, hopefully we get to do this again, we will do multiple camera and different angles. But okay, so we've connected that. Do you see that? Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing over here and we're creating a circle. Now what we're creating here is I've seen these like outdoor chandelier things on um, Pinterest, several of them. I didn't really look at the tutorial. I just kind of looked at the picture and thought of a like, how would I put that together? So you'll see a lot of different variations on how people do that. And we're going to slide that into the other thing like so. Okay, so they're connected on both sides. So when you push it, you see it's in kind of a circle. All right, so we've got to that point. Is everybody following along? <laughs> okay, somebody's upset. Could you please suggest a similar store worldwide? Sometimes I feel so frustrated in Mexico. There's no Dollar Tree. I am so sorry. I know. Um, I don't know. I'll have to do a little research on that and get back to you. I'm not trying to trigger anyone. I'm just trying to do something that I feel like a lot of people could access and be affordable to everybody. So I'm not trying to trigger anybody. <laughs> so, okay. Then I don't know if you've seen these, um, but I imagine that you could maybe find, I don't know if they have Walmarts in, in Mexico, but I've seen, you can find this kind of plastic fencing, I feel like in the garden centers at Walmart. So you, you could maybe, yeah, somebody's suggesting Timu. Um, you could find something similar and maybe do this idea. So then you have these uh pinwheel one i picked this one but you could also use like the wreaths and things like that i liked this one because i think it will give us an opportunity to attach one of our other elements the square is too distracting okay there's a square around oh my goodness i don't know how to get that off you guys hmm that's for my camera <laughs> this is a technical thing um hang if anybody wants to search how to remove it off the DSLR, uh, I apologize. This is, I'm, technology is not my thing. <laughs> so I am so sorry. It, it's wanting to autofocus on my face. And that is probably one of the downfalls of having a DSLR camera. But what we're going to do, and hopefully just ignore the square around my face, and we will improve our live streams as we go. Um, we are going to put this in the top part, or I guess it would be the bottom part of the fence. So it is like this. Does that make sense? All right. Uncheck the focus feature. Okay. If everybody wants to hold on one second, I don't know if going to my settings while live streaming will mess it up. That's my only worry. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I don't I think if I go and try to go into my settings while I'm live streaming, it may like dismantle the live stream. Um so I will fix it for next time. I promise you I will figure out how to do that. I didn't realize that I was gonna do that. I am so sorry. Yeah, it's a rough crowd. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so then we've got this attached here. Everybody following along okay so far? We've got a little bend here, but we will fix this when we attach it, which we are going to attach. This is supposed to be like a super easy DIY that we can all do together. Um, we are going to do some zip ties, all right? So we're gonna start with the creases here. And we are going to just take our zip ties and 
you loop it through the hole on the zip tie. It's pretty simple to do. Pull it until it's nice and snug. And then we will do it on the opposite side where it's also wanting to bend. Everybody's following along okay. <laughs> you guys, technology is not my thing. I was so stressed about do, getting this even live with a camera and a microphone, all that. We will get better at this. This is my first live stream with y'all and we will get it down. Super good. Hi, thank you for joining from Arizona. It is a camera thing. I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> it's really triggering people. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've got it attached where it was is bent. If you want to like reinforce it, you could do it here too, but I think it will be okay. And then what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna do that all the way around going from um, opposite sides so you can kind of e evenly space it out. I'm going to reinforce the other corner where the other seam is and we'll go in and we'll clip these all off in the end. And all right, so there we go. We're pulling it through, making it nice and tight. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. So we're just going to keep attaching this around the, the pinwheel, and we are creating an outdoor chandelier. Yes, it is. Yep. Sarah asked, is this the start of a chandelier? You got it. We are doing an outdoor chandelier. And so we're going to just attach this all the way. And you, once we cut off the little excess of the zip ties, we can... Um, once you cut it off, you won't even notice the zip ties are on there and we're not using any hot glue. It'll be nice and sturdy. So we're going to just go around doing that. And while we're doing that, if anybody has a question, I'll try to grab the first one I see in the chat. Oh, thank you so much, Robin. Okay, we're just going to go around and do a zip tie all the way around to it's evenly spaced. We don't want a red zip tie. We're trying to use black ones. How am I feeling? Okay, so I have a, you probably are wanting an update on my health. And yeah, I'm doing a lot better. For those of you who may not have been aware, I had to take off about six to eight weeks about December, January um, for some health issues. I am doing a lot better. I've been working with a holistic doctor and um, getting through some health issues that I had and I am feeling so good. I just finished up a cleanse like a few days ago and that's really helped. And, and so I'm in like the rebuild phase after a cleanse and I'm doing really, really good. Okay, good. Okay. All right. I'm so glad I, I hear, hear some comments of, that you're learning something new. That's what I love to hear. And <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we're almost done with the zip ties. We might put it on a few more and then we'll clip them off. What is one of your latest DIYs that you can't wait to do again? What do you mean again? Like redo, like I or expand a little bit. Update on your health. Okay, so yes. Yep. I so my health. So there was probably a lot of questions about that. So I had I, um, a few things going on with me and one of them was SIBO. I don't know if you've heard of that. I had um, some heavy metal toxicity. I just had a bunch of many different things. And so we're, we're working on all of that and I'm feeling a lot better. And so it, it makes it so that we can do more projects and I feel like I'm getting in the back of the swing of things. And so, uh, will this DIY be available? Yes, yeah, so this live stream will be available later so you can come watch the replay. And so now I'm just trying to space this out. Okay, so can you see that I, I might have to work on this little corner here and get up, there we go. So we've attached it to the pinwheel and we've done it with zip ties, okay? So it, if you can see what we're trying to do here is we're making like an outdoor chandelier. This is the beginning stages of it. And now we can just clip off the top of 
all of these little zip ties can cut it down nice and short so you won't even notice it. I have had to stay home two months straight. I'm so sorry. SIBO is really rough. You have to cut your diet. Yes, I had to. So I've cut out sugar. I've cut out caffeine. I've cut out flour, except for sourdough bread. I will, can have that because the way that it's processed, if it's done correctly, there is no um, gluten in it. So gluten-free, sugar-free. I'm not completely dairy free because I have no food allergies, but I have cut back a lot of dairy. I am um, making my own my own almond milk. That's been really fun. And so I've just tried to really clean up my diet, eat a lot better. And so I am feeling a lot better. Okay. Uh, so Rhonda says, this is your fir her first live. Guess what? It's my first live too. <laughs> this is my first official live on the YouTube channel. And so, okay, this one little spot is really bugging me. This is like the thing with live is it's all live. This is the first time that I have done this before, this DIY. So if I have any issues with it, I am problem solving those as we go, as, as well as technical difficulties, apparently like the little square thing. <laughs> I did not expect that little square around my face. That's the beauty of my first live you get to, but next live I will I'll have that fixed. Let's see. Do you know how or you got my the heavy metal issue? I don't, I really don't. Um, I don't know, but all right, let's see. What are your thoughts on paper, glue, and poly as fl a flooring option? Well, I mean, oh, craft paper. You know, I've seen people do that, honestly, and I don't know if that would hold up over time. I think I've seen it. It looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I personally would recommend that just because I, I feel like that's one that wouldn't stand the test of time and I'm going to put one last zip tie and then I will be done and we'll move on to the next step. <laughs> okay. Do you eat a lot of sushi? I do love sushi is my favorite, but I think I had more going on than just eating sushi. So I don't know if that's it. it probably contributed. I think there's probably many things. I do love sushi. It is my favorite. Okay. Okay. All right, so there we go. It's attached to the pinwheel. You can pick these. All this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. So 100, and this will be good for outdoors, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I have six of these outdoor um, solar lights. So this is gonna be a solar chandelier. And you know, actually, I don't think I even need to remove that because we're gonna remove all of the stakes and just take the top part off. Um, and then for it to work, you have to pull out those yellow things. And so we're gonna just do that to six. So, all right. And grab the rest of them here. Hopefully I've got them. Yep, I do, okay. All right, if you have a question while I'm pulling these all out and getting these all prepped, I would love to answer. Oh, thank you so much, Lucas. Um, all right, let's see the lady who did the flooring said it held up for well beyond four years. That's cool. It's kind of a cool look. The, she's talking about the craft paper flooring. I think the way I've seen it, most people like tear it into big chunks and then they polyurethane it down. Um, and so I think it's a very interesting look. It can look like a little bit like leather, I think. And so it's an interesting idea for sure. Okay, Hello, let's see. Sushi has a lot of heavy metals. Yeah, maybe so. I'm gonna have to figure out how to manage that long-term. How long have you been doing DIYs? Okay, so I have been I, I DIYing in some like ways since I was a little girl, you know. My mom had me in 4-H. I did, you know, sewing and things like that for 4-H. So on some level since I was a kid, but I did it more and more as an adult, like when I was young and I wanted to have a nice house but I couldn't afford it. I just was like, how can I do this myself? I figured if someone could do it out there, then I could figure out a way to do it too. Okay. All right. So we have six of these. 
You've seen these, they're super easy to find at the Dollar Tree. Now we are going to drill holes right there in the base of that. We're gonna drill a hole that goes all the way through because we are gonna take our zip ties and we are gonna zip tie them onto it. So no glue so far. In fact, I'm not planning on using any glue, but okay, we are gonna pull out a little drill and I know I'm gonna get questions on <laughs> the drill. And so I'm gonna give you a little bit of um, info on that a little bit later in the live stream. I'm gonna give you some more hints and clues. Hopefully we will be releasing it sometime this summer. Fingers crossed. I have been super, super picky about this because uh, I want it to be perfect for you. And so I thought we were getting close and then I made them fix something and it just, every time you make a change, it draws it out. So we're really close as far as I know. Okay, glue for other projects. Okay, hot glue gun, yeah. I love hot glue guns too. Okay, so you can't see this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, if you can see the drill bit here. Um, I don't know what size, I just grabbed one. You want it big enough for a zip tie to go through, but it doesn't have to be anything crazy. We're gonna just, you can't see it from the screen, but we're gonna very carefully drill a hole and I've got a piece of wood underneath on the other side, so. Okay. We did it. <laughs> There's a little crack on it. Oh, I think it will be okay. I might have gotten a little too, I did it slower on my little test one. I did test to see if I could drill it. All right. I, I broke it. <laughs> see, this is live. Um, we're gonna per, we're gonna troubleshoot that. It still works. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna make it work. I'm just gonna, not drill as fast on the other. All right. I could get out my hot pen. Ooh, hot pen. Let's try that. <laughs> that might actually work good. I think it's worth a try. Um. If not, we can still use the drill. Okay, so this is a hot pen. Have you guys ever seen one of these? I'm gonna plug it in. I have a little power strip below me and it melts through plastic. <laughs> so we'll try the, oh, the DIY dolly is right here. Maybe I'll have her come say hi. Okay. All right, we're gonna heat up the hot pan real quick. Maybe I'll have a dolly pop up here real quick. Come here, do you wanna say hi? Come here, you. Hey, say hi to everybody. <laughs> this is the DIY dolly. She likes to be my assistant. She helps me out on a lot of the projects and she is just the best. <laughs> I love this little girl, so can you say hi? Hello. <laughs> okay, I'll put her down because I have the hot pen there. I don't want her getting up there. Yeah, there's the baby, the little fur baby. She'll, she'll, she'll not be too far away. Maybe we'll have her hop on a little bit. So you can already see that it's steaming. So we're gonna try doing it this way. Okay, so we're gonna try putting a hole, melting a hole through it. Oh, yep, that's working really, really well. That actually is working a little bit easier than the drill. Okay, so see how that, uh, I don't know if you can see it better up here. So we, I just melted a hole through it, but you could use a drill, just do it a little bit slower. Um, I broke one of them, hopefully we can still get it on and we will just melt through this and then we'll turn it off very quickly because I don't want to have this hot thing going too long. Okay, we're just poking little holes in it. Okay, we're almost done, last one. That was way better than the drill. 
I love my drill, but sometimes there's other tools. Okay. All right. Hopefully, okay, well, before I turn this off all the way, we'll see if we can get a zip tie through it. Okay. You, this reminds me of the chandelier you made using the tuna fish cans and you think, yes, <laughs> it is, it's so fun. It's a little different, but okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if I have enough of these smaller ones. Okay, so I'm gonna see if these smaller zip ties fit through. I'm gonna make some of these holes just a tad bigger. Okay, or just make sure that the holes are big enough that you can fit. All right. What projects are you guys working on at your house? What are some of the things that you've got going on? I'd like to hear about that. Okay. Hi from Illinois, I love your powerful videos. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna turn this off and I'm gonna set it aside. Hopefully I don't unplug the wrong thing here. All right, we've got some guesses on the tool line. If you stick with me a little bit longer, I'm gonna give you some hints on that. Okay, so we've got our holes in here. Now we're gonna hang them on the underside. So, and the, on here, I don't know how many there is, but every, if we go every other one, which means there should be like 12, because I think if we go every other one, we should be able to connect these on the bottom. So we're gonna take our zip tie. Okay, are we here? Are we here? <laughs> are you here, everybody? <laughs> okay, hold on one second. All right, you guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, I hate technology. That was a fresh battery and it <laughs> sucked right through it. Okay, oh my goodness gracious. I gotta hire some help. <laughs> okay, I don't even know, I'm, okay, I lost one of them over here. I got all frazzled. I, I did have a backup battery, so I was able to switch it out real quick. <sighs> okay. All right. So we've got our thing. We've, I don't know if you can see that, but we've got our zip tie through it and we are going to every other one. Set it right here. So you can see what I'm doing here, hopefully. Okay. So every other one, we are going to zip tie it around one of these like spoke things. Okay. And then, all right. So there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, hi Hope. <laughs> Hope Scope is with us. How many of you guys watch Hope Scope or your, maybe your girls watch Hope Scope? Uh, she's joining us live and thank you so much for the super chat, Hope. I really appreciate that. You are the best. <laughs> hopefully you didn't join right during our technical difficulties and hopefully you don't mind the little box around it. We're learning, this is our first live stream. <laughs> Okay, there I am. Okay. All right. So let's let me show you what I've got going on so far. Okay. So you can see now I'm going to cover up one of these. You can see that they do light up. I've got my studio lighting, but if you if I touch the cover up the solar part, it does light it up. So we are going to just hang these every other spoke. And while let's see, is your DSL on it, it is on autofocus? I need to turn it off, but I was worried that if I did that while I was live streaming, it would cut it out. Um, so next time I am going to do better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys will still love me after all this craziness. Okay. All right. It is a good idea. 
yes, they should charge because I tested it out just even in my craft room here and it worked. So I've got this in upside down. So these should still charge upside down as long as they are exposed to light, they should be good to go. And so you, you all know how to do zip ties, right? All right. They will charge. They will. Okay. Hope Scope. Yes, Hope Scope is a amazing channel. You guys need to go check her out. She is a good friend of mine, and she has the funnest videos on her channel. Okay. So if she does a lot of fashion stuff, she does a lot of um, really like, I don't know how to describe it, very unique content because she like buys like random returns. She customizes designer purses. She does a lot of fun things <laughs> on her channel. Okay. We're getting these all attached. All right. One of my favorite projects you have done is the cathedral window. I've made a couple of them and love them. Oh, thank you. That is honestly one of my all-time favorite projects too. Okay, so this is the beauty of like, when you get one of my edited videos, you get to see this on like fast mo. <laughs> and doing it live, you get to see it real time. It takes a little bit longer, <laughs> you'll notice. Okay, so here's the one we broke. Hopefully we can still get it on here. I think it will be okay. I hope it doesn't hang funny. Um, I just don't know how it's gonna do. Okay. Um, do you have an email address that we can communicate? I believe it's in my every one of my descriptions. So it's just designed to the nines at Gmail. <laughs> I try to, I get a lot of emails though, so I, I will do my best to respond, but I get a lot of emails <laughs> on a daily basis. Okay, we've got our last one and we're almost done with this project, um, but there's also fun ways we can embellish it too. Okay. All right. All right, well, let's see. Oh, but okay, so somebody says no Dollar General, no D Dollar Tree, but you can find similar plastic garden fencing and similar supplies at Walmart. So if you can get to a Walmart, you could probably find something kind of similar there. Um, and earlier, some people said, suggested Timu. Okay. All right, so, okay, here we go. Hopefully you can see this okay. Do you see how they're all hanging? like that. So we put them on every other one. Okay. And so then now that we've got them all zip tied, we'll cut off these zip ties and we're about done. But I have some ideas for embellishment. Um, but I don't know if we'll embellish it on this live stream or not. You can tell me if you want to. Um, I'll give you some ideas on that, and then we'll do like a straight up Q&A for a minute. If you've got design questions, if you want to know about me. Okay, so then the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to need to attach a chain. Now, spacing it correctly. <laughs> that might be interesting. Um, all right, could I, I can't, I don't have any helpers with me, but one of these times I'm going to have helpers with me, and I will have them link after the fact, I can link the cathedral cathedral window one. Okay, so basically you can get these little, they're like hanging basket chains at the Dollar Tree and we are just gonna clip it. I think it should be, hopefully I get it spaced correctly. If not, we'll just fidget with it until we, do. and we're gonna wanna do it on the outside because it just wants to slide in. I just realized that now. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. 
the last one. Do you see how this is going? It's such a super simple DIY that anybody could do. Um, again, if you don't have the Dollar Trees, I think you can order online. You can also find similar projects. I feel like this is something that if you go to garden fencing at like Walmart, okay, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. So then you can take this outside just as is. Um, you could also add a whole bunch of um, like crystals hanging from it, really make it bougie. You know, I've got some crystals that I could hang from it, make it super, super fancy. But I also thought, and I've got them sitting here, and you'll have to let me know. I thought it would be fun to take a whole bunch of um, like silk florals and you could line the top of it and use greenery and just really make it embellished on top with different greeneries and different florals. You could make it colorful. You could pick a monochromatic color scheme like I've done here with all of the whites. I just feel like this would be a really fun and pretty um, way to embellish it. So, and again, I would just continue using the zip ties and then you could really make it like garden-esque. Um, so if you, if you want, we can do that right now, or I could answer some questions. Um, but essentially, that is the idea. And how simple was that to do? I mean, we were talking and chatting. We had some technical difficulties and things like that. But we were able to do one of the zip ties wasn't on good. <laughs> I think I did it on reverse. Have you ever done the zip ties where you do it the wrong direction? All right, let's try that one again. We can't have it faulty. Hopefully I put it in the right direction. <laughs> okay, let's hope I did it the right direction this time. We gotta fix that. We can't leave that hanging. Okay. There we go. I think that one did it correctly. I Can everybody else see me? Somebody says that they lost me. Real life, no joke. <laughs> okay. There we go. Every, every DIY has its challenges. And so, <laughs> all right, there we go. So I'm gonna set it in the back for a minute. If you'll, you can vote in the chat and let me know if you want me to finish it off with all of the, the mini florals or not. We're gonna just take them away and we're gonna talk and just do a Q and A real quick. Okay. <laughs> So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'm going to try to answer some of those live. All right, let's see. Can, can you share the story of how you got started on YouTube? Absolutely. Okay. So if you go way back, <laughs> don't go way back, but if you do go way back, you will see a few videos from like 20 11. This when YouTube was brand new and I was just throwing up videos here and there that I thought might be helpful. They are so bad. You think that, that we're having technical difficulties on this live stream. <laughs> Those were technical difficulties. The music was loud. The video quality was terrible. It was just not good. But when I officially really started doing YouTube was about 2018 and I just had this little nudging that I needed to to do it. I really felt like, I don't know, a call to empower women to do things that they didn't think that they could do to really push women and show other women that we are awesome. <laughs> and so um, I that's what, kind of a, how, how that all started. And that's what my goal is to do. It's not necessarily that you do the same projects as me. I love it if you do the same projects as me. It's really fun. But more importantly, to just maybe inspire people to like get out of their own comfort zone, try some new things, get brave, like that may come across in the, the way of power tools. Um, it may come across in other things, but go out there, push yourself and you will be so surprised at what you can accomplish. And that is like kind of the shortened version of how I came to be on YouTube. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. 
Okay, just it just keeps spinning. Oh, so some of you might be watching on a delay. We had a little mid, <laughs> a little technical difficulty, and hopefully we don't have another one because I only have the this other battery. Once it goes, I, hopefully we can make it. All right, let's see. You have inspired me and my hubby to redo the kitchen. Okay, I am going to scroll up. Uh, let's see, love all of your power tools videos. It's because of you that I have a collection now. My husband and I have been using them more than I. Oh, that's oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Anxious to know when your lineup. Okay, let's talk to power tools. For all of you guys who have hung out with me for, to this point, I think I've made you wait a long enough. Okay, so what I will tell you is I do have business partners. Um, I will tell you because I get a lot of questions thinking that I um, got signed with like a, another power tool company and that I'm like licensing a deal with them. No, this is all being bootstrapped by me and my business partner. And we are funding ourselves and I'm so so excited um, about it I <laughs> am so ready to launch it but like I said I really want it to be perfect because this has been in the works for about a year and a half maybe even close to two years now and I just and it and honestly it was all in the I don't want to get into too many details because the, like, I want to save that for when I launch, but it was inspired essentially by you. So I talked to my business partner and she has given me, well, we kind of discussed and we came to the conclusion that we wanted to share with you that it is going, we're not going to tell colors or anything, but we're going to be a little bit um, vague because we want to keep a little bit of it exciting and, and a little mystery out there. But we will be using, in some form, cheetah print. So for all of you who have guessed cheetah print, there will be cheetah print in some form or another in the tool line. Now, beyond that, I'm not going to tell you. And it's going to sparkle because we're ladies. And let me tell you, that little element has been, we've been really pushing the envelope. People have really, <laughs> they're like, this is not how power tools are made. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't want to give away too much, but it's going to sparkle and going to have some cheetah print in some form or another. And I hope that you guys like that. I'm going to take a quick drink. Okay. All right. Good question, Nancy. How does the solar lights charge get? I think they they can. And if you if you're worried about I I don't know how it's been working. I tried it out. It's been charging even inside my house um, on the light, and so it I think it just absorbs the light. Um, if you wanted to, you can. They're just hanging, so you can like if you feel like they're not charging enough, you can easily flip them up, so it wouldn't be like that difficult. But it has been working inside my house. I've tested it out. Um, in, not even getting sunlight, but just like daylight through my house, and it has been charging and, and doing that. So okay, um, all right, awesome. I can't wait. When are we gonna launch? Okay, really hoping to launch sometime this summer. We're really really close. We're just buttoning up a few details. I thought we were closer a few months ago. I mentioned this earlier in the live stream, um, but um, I'm being very picky because I want the best for you guys. So I made a change and every time you make a change, it kind of throws a wrench into things. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Where are we at? Um, when are we going to launch? Uh, we are going to try to make them available in Australia. We're trying to make it worldwide, but there's like different like rules for like, if, since they're battery operated, we're jumping through some hoops on that. I'm learning so much from, from launching this. You guys, you have no idea. So hopefully I'm going to hope sometime this summer. That's all I, I can tell you at this time. I'm uh, going to make your ottoman table next week. Yes, that's so awesome. What do you do with all of your projects? Okay, so some of them I keep and actually use a lot of them. <laughs> and if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I have a purging problem. Like, because a creative brain, I want to hold on to everything. So I am currently doing a lot of purging. Um, sometimes they get donated to organizations for um, 
women who are leaving abusive relationships. I've d donated some of my furniture things there. Um, and then sometimes they get sent back to the thrift store. <laughs> Is that terrible? But I figure that will make the thrift stores that are usually there. The thrift stores that I donate to are usually charity based. And so hopefully that will make them money again. <laughs> so, all right, what do we got here? Let's see. What are your next home projects going to be? These are all really good questions, you guys. So right now I'm working on some things in my bedroom that will be coming out next week. The overmantel that I've been talking about for my my bedroom fireplace, that is now built. And so I'm gonna be doing some stuff in my bedroom. Right after that, we are going to be doing a primary bathroom makeover, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's coming really soon. So we've got a couple of really good ones. I keep trying to get to the laundry room. It's probably my most dreaded project, and <laughs> I'm trying to get to it. <laughs> so hopefully, let's see. Um, okay, so are the tools going to be lighter weight? Okay, I'm going to leave all that mystery. Just know that I have really kept women in mind when doing the power tools, and I really want them to be powerful for you all. So uh, that's not really answer yet, but I promise that will all come out when we do our launch. And, and we're going to be doing the, a live stream launch at some point. So hopefully I'll have all of these technical difficulties uh, fixed, like the silly box that's around my face. Let's see. Polar bear. Everybody say hello to polar bear. That is my baby brother. He is the coolest and he is in, he watches all of my videos, comments on all of my videos. And he just asked, how did you get into DIY and what was your first project? He might know some of this, <laughs> but everybody give polar bear a little love because he is the coolest. He is my baby brother. Um, I got into DIY because I, out of necessity, I really wanted a beautiful home and I didn't have, I was so broke when I was younger, like so poor, I had no money. And I figured if I wanted a beautiful home, I needed to get creative and do things myself. So that's how that all started. And I love it. Everybody's giving my brother a lot of love. Thank you so much. Um, somebody asked where we'll be, we'll be selling our power tools that will be worldwide and it will be online. And so we'll go into that in the launch. Let's see. I would like to see a piece of furniture. Wait, I missed it. Where did we go? See a piece of furniture repurposed into a two-tone. I plan on doing a bedroom for navy and American oak stain. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I love that. That's going to be a great project. Let's see. I'd rather use power tool that looked feminine more for me. Yes, but we want power tools that like actually are powerful and strong and not just aesthetic. So hopefully we're balancing both of those. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you still do the mystery box? I haven't done the mystery box in a while. I love to do that. I, it just, I have so my hands in so many pots juggling so many balls that I, you know, there's been a few things that I've had to put on pause for now. Um, but hopefully I'll do that. Do you want to see me do a mystery box again? You'll have to let me know. <laughs> Okay. Everybody's saying hello. Okay. I love polar bear. Okay. Uh, my husband and I share power tools. Well, he might not want to share yours. <laughs> They'll be strong enough. He might want to borrow them, but they're going to be beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Saw included in the tools. So I have already been clear about this. The first tool we will be launching is a drill, but we have like several in the lineup. So we're get, the plan is to do a full lineup of all the tools because I think a lot of people stop at the drill when it comes to women and we're going to go well beyond that, well beyond. So, okay. Um, I want a power tool that's cute and will impress my husband. That's exactly ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I had to step out. Let's see. Where will you be able to purchase these tools? The, online. That's all I can say for now, but it will be easily accessible and purchasable, but not in the big box stores yet, but maybe we'll get in there. <laughs> Is your health good now? You look like you are better. Yes, I am feeling so, so much better. Um, yes, my health is doing way, way better. And I am so grateful for the help of uh, some holistic doctors. I, I went through the traditional route 
they didn't have a lot of answers for me. So I ended up um, with a holistic doctor who has really nursed me back to health in all honesty. And I am feeling great and getting better by the day. So I'm really happy about that feeling way better. And yes. Did you expect your YouTube journey to be so successful? Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing without you. So it's only because of you that, that I've had any kind of success. Um, I always have the high expectations for myself. So I shoot for the stars and I do my best to get there. So, um, but it's not really about that. It's really about connecting with all of you. And um, I really do. Every time I make a video, I feel like I'm, I, I get the question all the time because I say, we were going to do this. We are going to do that. We're going to do that. And everybody's like, I don't see anybody else there. Why are you saying we? And it's because I really feel like you are here with me doing the project and I'm speaking as if you were. And so a lot of people are like, why do you say we all the time? And it's because you are right here with me. And that's what it's all about. Okay. Oh, it's it. Lisa's it here. Everybody say hi to Lisa, Lisa Birmingham. We are real life friends and she lives close by and she has a wonderful YouTube channel. So you can say hi to her. Let's see. Um, my husband recognizes your voice from the videos I watch. He knows we are about to work <laughs> on something after I posted it. Uh, that's so funny. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> I know the annoying box. If you're just joining me, there is a box around my face. I am not good with technology. And I think it's the autofocus for my camera. I was so stressed out about even getting like the camera set up right and everything. Apparently, I did not know that it was going to put this little silly box around my face this whole time. So I apologize. And the next live stream, it will, I promise you, will not be there to annoy everybody. <laughs> so, okay. I, let's see, did you, did you do the editing on every YouTube starting out? Yes. So yes, I used to edit all of my own videos. Um, and so that's why you saw, <laughs> like, if you look at some of the older stuff, it's really pretty bad. And then I got better with time and got better at it. And then I, I was getting pretty good at it, but um, once I started to take on the power tool project, I really needed to free up some time to focus on that a little bit. So I did hire out my editing and he, and um, my editor does a really good job. I'm really thrilled with the work that he does. I still shoot it all myself. I'm still not very good at tech, obviously. <laughs> a little box around my face. Uh, let's see. Amazing box is no biggie. Thank you. <laughs> I will fix that for next time, you guys. <laughs> I promise. I don't even see the box anymore. LOL. I'm ignoring it as well. Okay. All right. If does anybody else, let's see. Have you, I, I have not named it officially. I just, I think I have it as DIY live right now, but it could be whatever you want to call it. Then DIY Niners night, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just, it's a, a really good excuse to hang out and get to chat with you and get more personal FaceTime. I, I love it. It's more casual. Um, it's a little more raw, <laughs> but we'll get better at these. We will. Let's see. Hello from Maine. Hi. I used to live in Maine. I don't know if you knew that, but we we did. We used to live in Maine on the coast, um, north, just north of Portland. So, all right. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Lisa. You and Emily got me through breast cancer. I am so, so sorry. Hopefully, you're feeling much much better. Let's see, I, I lost your name, Shelly. I hope you're feeling better. Stay strong. She's recovering from breast cancer. Okay. Uh, okay, are you going to do a book? Okay, I, I wanted to do, that's definitely on my bucket list. I honestly, it's like a time thing. <laughs> but one day, that is definitely on my my bucket list. If If I were to do a book, what would you want it to be on? Let me know in the, the comments or the chat, you know, what would you want me to write a book on? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. Okay. All right. Bar Harbor. Oh, yeah. that's a, Bar Harbor is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It really is. It's so beautiful. Acadia. How is the no sugar diet? Any tips? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you get used to it. 
<laughs> but the no sugar diet is going okay. I do use a little bit of monk fruit and um, dates, but other than that, I'm not really doing any refined sugar. So, okay, let's see how tos, how tos. Okay, okay. Uh, wood pile projects. Uh, that would be a good book idea. I love it. All right. Well. Okay, I'm going to, if you have any last minute questions, hit them up in the chat. We're going to wrap it up here in a few minutes. Um, okay, let's see. Do you eat natural sugar like fruit? Yes. So when I was um, on my SIBO cleanse, they put me on a low FODMAP diet. So there were some fruits that I couldn't eat for a while. I'm no longer on the low FODMAP, even though I'm still kind of eating. I'm being... I'm still on it a little bit, but I'm being a little bit more liberal. But I think on the low FODMAP, you can't eat apples, you can't eat mangoes, you can't eat um, some fruits because they are like processed differently or higher in sugar content. But I could eat like oranges and things like that. So I, I it, it was really interesting. Okay. Sue Ann is from Utah. I think you have a connection. I cannot wait for the two. Yes, I used to live in Utah. <laughs> I, I, my husband and I have been kind of like gypsies. We kind of moved all over the country. So I, I did live in Utah for a good chunk of time. All right. Small shelf decor. Okay. Noted. Al allulose, only berries. Yeah, I've heard, I've been hearing about allulose just recently i don't know a lot about it so i mainly feel safe eating monk fruit and dates or like a date syrup made from um actual dates and they boil them down and it creates a syrup um i'm trying to do my best to just eat i i, I have good days and bad days <laughs> Okay, a lot of people are worried about the upside down solar lights. Um, they have worked, I've tested it out. Um, if you're worried about it, it is on a zip tie, so you can flip them up and charge them if you're worried about that. But I think that they'll be okay. I have tested it out for a few days, even indoors, just getting the natural light that's around and it has somehow been able to absorb it. So we'll see. Is Florida, Florida your, our forever home? Are we there, are we there? Okay, <laughs> I thought it wasn't my battery, you guys. I turned off like auto turn off, but I think it after like 30 minutes it's still turning off or something like that. So <laughs> we <laughs> lost for just a second. I, I, we're gonna resolve all these for future things. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, we don't have a price on the drill yet. There's still some outstanding things. I, what I will tell you is I am fighting to keep it as low as I possibly can. I'm fighting to do it and we are just doing the best we can, but we do not have a price yet. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You guys, like in my nightmares, I have like uh, <laughs> nightmares about technology. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares about it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, before we have that happen, all right. All right. I know I have a square in my face. We're going to resolve that. Another one of those <laughs> technical difficulties that will hopefully res be resolved for th the next live stream. Let me know in the comments or in the chat if you want another live stream i would like to try to do this every so often answer your questions live do a project with you and hopefully it will be a little bit better planned out in the future so that maybe we can craft together and then um and then like the thing with the square and all these little tweaks and like little technical difficulties that we were having we'll hopefully have worked out on our next one so Let's see. Okay, yes, let's do it again. Do I drink more water now? Like way more water. Okay, so like, for example, I think this holds 40 ounces. I drink like at least three of these a day. I feel like, I don't know, I'm constantly drinking. And yes, I drink way more water. I feel like you can see that in like my skin and all of that. All right. 
All right. I think we're going to wrap it up. I, I so appreciate you spending your evening with me. Um, let me know what kind of projects you want to see. We've had uh, some people uh, didn't love the, the Dollar Tree. Some of you probably loved the Dollar Tree. So if you have other ideas of live stream topics, let me know in the comment section below. I sure appreciate you. And I want you to know that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.